Hey guys, it's Chris and Christy Lee here and we're camping out in the Mojave Desert. The sun's going down, it's six o'clock and we decided that, hey, maybe we could invite you for dinner tonight. So what are we having? We're going to be having kava bowls. So kava is one of our favorite chain restaurants. It's a uh, Chipotle style Mediterranean bowls. They're, right, they're Mediterranean and rice bowls. And so it's very citrusy, very clean, and they use really pure ingredients. Like they don't cook in canola oil or anything like that. So we're gonna recreate that style of dish, something that we make every single week, multiple times a week um, right here. And so how should we get started? Let's start by making the rice. I should probably start by plugging this guy in. We're not gonna use oil for this. Instead, we're gonna use some vegetable broth. And here we also have frozen brown rice. It's already cooked, so kinda just have to heat it up. So we're gonna mix this up with some vegetable broth, let that cook in. And the vegetable broth is already soaking into. Can that. I reveal the two secret ingredients? All right, so what are the two secret ingredients in this rice? Lime and fresh parsley. Kava cooks with a lot of different herbs. I feel like whenever I go there, I always taste a new herb in my dish. We only have parsley today, which is totally fine because it has a very strong flavor and it's gonna taste delicious. Lime's hard to squeeze. I think I might even need a fork for this, right? Unless I just like really crush it in my hand. No, I guess I guess I got it. It's just much harder than a lemon. I feel like I'm also gonna leave some juice left hanging and I don't wanna waste too much because this is like lime's delicious. I love lime flavored rice. So a whole lime. You can add it all in there. Really? Yep. Okay. Cool. Pre-portioned. And pre-cut. Oh. What's up? Can't forget the spices. Oh, can't forget the spices. Tell them about your multi-spice, multi-spice little container. So, as people go off-roading behind me, this multi-spice container, they sell it in uh, REI. That's where I think I got it. It's got salt, black pepper. It's got garlic salt, cayenne, curry, paprika. It's got everything. It's got everything you need um, for camping in just one container. It's so convenient. The chicken, what we just did right before this was air fry it. It's really convenient. You could cook it on the stove too. But the reason we air fried it was because we tried to make this particular dish oil free and it's going to taste just as good. Organic garbanzo beans, chickpeas. So what are we doing with this? So we're going to be making hummus because what's a kava bowl without hummus? Much better than buying it store-bought um, not only does it taste better it's also much healthier for you a lot of the store-bought hummuses have a lot of really bad ingredients and preservatives in it like citric acid so and we are trying to stay true to ourselves and also healthy clean eating the reason i didn't want you to take this off is because i'll strain it right you want me to strain it yeah okay sorry chickpeas are strained now we're going to dump them into our smoothie container. Now it won't. Now you have to get, yeah, now you have to, yeah, there you go. Okay, great. This is a really simple, easy recipe. We actually do this like every week at home. Hummus is amazing. I used to not even like hummus until you introduced me to homemade hummus. Wait. <laughs> yeah, homemade hummus is so much better. So we're gonna be adding a lemon. This is a really important ingredient, fresh garlic. Typically I would do cumin, but we don't have that on here. So we're gonna skip it. All right, we'll do curry instead of cumin. This isn't really an Indian I'm dish, sure. but it's okay. It's a mix of, okay. it, it has cumin in it probably. I brought my own salt from home because I like to use pink Himalayan salt. It's much better tasting and better for you than table salt because it has all the essential minerals in it that we need. Water. <laughs> Just a little bit for blending purposes. Typically, people use oil, also what makes hummus a bit smoother. But we're gonna use water because we're oil-free today. I'm mostly oil-free. So we have all of our ingredients set and we are about to assemble our kava bowls. Earlier, I chopped up some red onion and I let them soak in lemon juice. Wow. Yeah, so what's really cool, my favorite thing about kava is that all of their pickled items are all pickled with lemon juice and not vinegar. And I cut up some cucumber before, I cut up some fresh mint, along with the parsley. Sweet potato. And, oh yeah, the sweet potato. Yes, so I also made some roasted or sweet potatoes in the air fryer because kava also has a lot of vegan options. Now the arrangement of the bowls is a bit peculiar. 
and very specific. So it's always the greens first. We're doing like a spring mix. Then rice is the second layer. Yeah. Okay, and now the next thing that they ask is hummus. What kind of hummus would you like? Uh, I'd love the hummus we made today. <laughs> You're allowed mm. three scoops. Three scoops, that's one, oh my God. That's a big scoop, okay. Actually, we might not have enough for three scoops. Wow, these are gonna be hearty meals. Yeah, do you want more? Yeah. Okay, and then next is protein. I'll have both. Chicken, sweet potatoes. Yum. Looking good, right? Looking delicious. Okay, and then they move you on to the toppings. Uh, I'll have- Pickled onions. Pickled onions. And cucumbers are so important. So let's add some cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers give that fresh crunch. And then avocado. And then we have avocado. Oh, and a little bit of fresh mint. So here we are. Woo! This looks delicious. Homemade kava bowls. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. In the desert. Let's dig in. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Fork. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. So good. I think it's even better than the real thing. What do you think? It's so much better because we're camping. Yeah. We made this out here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining us here in the Mojave Desert, cooking dinner with us. We're glad to share this experience with you. See you next time.